Hey guys, it's Jen with my Organized Tribe. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how our family uses our family command center to stay organized and keep everyone on the same page. video of how to create your own family command center and I also shared how I created mine which is right behind me and gave you the steps on the best way to go about doing it. Um, today I thought it would just be a good idea just to do it real quick of how I utilize it and how I organize it and just how I do things to help out my family to know what's going on and just everything that pertains to our command center behind me. So if you want to see the video on how to create your own family command center that I did and also how I created mine, I'll link that down below. So I'll check that out and also do an icon at the top. But I'm just going to jump right in and show you how we use it. Okay, so here we have the calendar, which is the main aspect of our family command center. Um, I just have a dry erase board command center and it's all color coded and just everything goes on there that the family needs to be aware of. Um, I just have the month up here at the top and over here in the left corner is everyone's name and the family that is color coded. Everyone in the family has their own color and that goes for kind of different things that we do in the family too, but it, everyone just has their color. Um, so up here, I have family as one color, things that would involve everyone, and then each person in the family has their own color. Um, my husband is orange, I'm pink, um, my daughter is purple, my oldest son is blue, and my youngest son is green. And that's kind of just the kids' colors. Um, now, Anytime that the kids have activities, practices, games, um, birthday parties, doctor's appointments, anything like that, it's going to go in their color and up on the board. So I'm not writing out the child's name like my daughter. I'm not going to say Kaylin Dentist. I'll just use her color, which is purple. And so right here she had a dentist appointment and I just wrote dentist and then the time. Um, and I didn't have to write any names because that just starts getting really messy when you write everyone's names. Um, so you simply just write what it is. Practice, game, and whoever's color that it is. Um, so that's kind of what we do as far as um, anything pertaining to the kids. Now my husband, I do always put his, um, he has pretty much a set work schedule, um, but there are some evenings that he has to work late. Um, and then he has to work a Saturday, maybe every six weeks or so. Um, so I do write on there like when my husband has to work late and when he has to work Saturdays just to help plan and keep everyone in the family aware of when daddy's working. But what I do when I first start out a month, I start out by writing the month at the top of course and then I fill in with each days and all of that goes in black. I, um, the month and all the numbers of the dates go in black and then also any holidays. I'll write any holidays on the calendar in black. Um, so that goes for also for birthdays. Um, any family birthdays, um, holidays, anything like that goes in black. Um, so that's the first thing that I do and I also carry through with each week, say this is August, well I have the last of July up here too. I don't leave any open days. I do that this week. This um, calendar board has six weeks, so it goes from the previous month into the next month. Like down here, this is August calendar up here. I have like the first week of September down here as well, but when September starts, I'll just kind of start transitioning it. Um, so that's kind of how I do it. Now, as you can tell, I do cross off the days as they're completed and moving on. I just feel like it helps everyone to keep up with what day it is and how many days of the month are left and just kind of, especially the younger ones, it helps them to know what day it is and to know what we have going on that day. It just kind of helps them to kind of keep track. So that's really just the gist of it and how we use the calendar. It's all about 
color coding and just getting everyone's information, everyone's activities, schedules, meetings, anything goes up there in the person's color. That's, that's just how I do it. And I just mark off the days as they're completed and it just helps everyone to know what day we're on and what we have coming up. So the calendar, that is the most important thing for our um, Family Humane Center that we utilize. This is just to keep mail that comes in. When I grab it from the mailbox, it goes in this one right here. And out is for anything that needs to go out into the mailbox or need to take to the post office or anything that needs to be turned in somewhere or taken somewhere um, goes in there. And then I know that that needs to go out and I'll grab it and do with it what needs to be done. Um, these baskets are my dry erase markers for my board and chalk markers for the chalkboards. And then I have a couple hooks here that hold our car keys and that's just where they go just to easily find them. Up here at the top, a clock that's important to see what time it is and these things are just for decoration. Um, but the clock is good to have just to keep everyone on track and this is just where we come in and out of when we're trying to get out of the house for school or activities, anything like that. So the clock is, is a necessity for us. Now over here on this board, I have, this is just a magnet board. I have magnets on here. Um, this is where I put any birthday party invitations, um, any kind of invitations for events go on here so we don't forget it. The kids like to look at those kind of things too. And then when we head out the door going, for example, to a birthday party, I grab the invitation, take it with me. So I have the address, you know, time, you know, phone numbers, just in case I need it on there. Um, so we just grab it and take it with us. Now I do keep these on here and I'll show you a little bit closer up of what these are. Um, but these are just the kids schedules, like school routines for morning and afternoon. And these are basically just weekday while we're in school. So this is my daughter, she is in second grade, so she's getting up and going to school every morning. Um, early riser for school, of course, and she rides the bus. So it has her morning routine and her afternoon routine for when she gets home from school. And I just have things with the time and pictures, just she can read, but the boys can't read yet. Um, so just things, you know, what times things are and what she'll do. So her morning routine would be, you know, she wakes up at six o'clock and makes her bed, try to make the bed <laughs> most mornings. Um, after that, she'll get dressed, brush her teeth and hair. And then at 6.15, she has to be downstairs and that's when she'll eat breakfast and then we'll pack her lunch. But we do that during that time that she's eating. And then 6.35 is when she has to be putting her shoes on and getting her backpack and everything. And at 6.40, they are out the door to catch the bus. Um, afternoon, she gets home about 3 o'clock. When she gets home, first thing that's done is taking off the shoes and washing hands. Um, she empties the backpack and lunchbox. 10, she'll have a snack and then play. And then about 4 o'clock, after a little bit of downtime, play time, is when she'll do any chores that she needs to do. And then 4.30, she'll do some homework or reading. And then after that is typically when we start um, to have to head out to any practices or games or anything like that. So the boys routine is up here as well. Theirs is a little bit different and they cannot read yet. So the pictures kind of help them a little bit. Um, but basically just a little bit different, but the same type of stuff that they have to do. And then the afternoon's a little different because they get out of school at noon. And, you know, Colton still gets his nap. I try to get Easton to get quiet time. So those are just up there for their reference to kind of help them keep on track a little bit more and hold them more accountable um, to kind of know and what to expect for the morning and afternoon. Now, the only other thing that's here on the command center is just a chalkboard to write special notes or, you know, things happening and Right now with August, we're going back to school and Colton's birthday. Um, so just a little something there. And then we also have our weekly menu that's posted there as well. Just to let everybody know what's for dinner. And it also helps my husband. Um, 
if he's helping out with dinner, you know, if we're at practice or anything like that. So it's just there for everyone. And the kids ask often, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? What's for dinner? And Kaylin can read it. Um, so she'll usually read it and tell Easton if he's asking. Um, but she's she asks often and she'll just go and check the board. So that's it. I mean, not really too much to it. Um, but it's just very explanatory. Everyone knows kind of how to read it now. Um, knows what to expect from it and I don't know I just really love having it and I just feel like it keeps us more organized and everyone just so much more prepared um, if you like to see more videos like this then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also follow me on Instagram at my organized tribe I do post more frequent updates over there on what we're up to and things I'm working on uh, so don't forget to follow me over there and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like keeping your family organized and having a family command center and I will see you guys next time. Bye.